Sir, I'm just curious. You, you, you brought up this desire of yours to help out the Marcos government. Um, it, it's a fairly new government, and it's still it's, it's, it's less than a year old. But yeah. what do you think should be done by this government to help people like you to go into business, to look into new businesses, to thrive? How, how can government help you? Well, uh, of course, it would be the best way by government support and, of course, some government funding. Okay. And right now, I'm very optimistic because I'm taking a very serious look at this Maharlika fund, uh, Maharlika okay. investment bill. And because right now, the author or the one in the Senate working is Senator Mark Villar, which is okay. a very dear friend. And last week, I was able to talk to him and I was throwing a lot of questions. And another thing that interests me was, he said from a 15-man director, it will go down to seven. Okay. So because pare, I love that idea. If, okay. if it's seven, it's easier. Okay. Because if it's 15-man team, director, it's so hard to get people together and to discuss. Okay. With the seven-man team, it's pretty easier and it will be a closer teamwork. So, oh, what excites you about the Maharlika? I mean, uh, uh, is it something that you think can help business like yours, or maybe it will be something bigger to help the country in general? I think it will help the country because I look okay. at the uh, Temasek Holdings of Singapore and okay. they have another fund. I just for JIC or JIL. Something yeah, the like Singapore that. Wealth Fund. Yeah, yeah. Singapore yeah. Wealth. Uh, the so government wealth fund. Yeah. So, uh, it should be a government undertaking this so that. The other big uh, investors will they will invest to these funds. Okay. As we can see, who are investing the other other countries' pension fund or whatever yeah. fund come in, it should be bigger. And then, with their participation, there will be more controls. Okay. Like okay. The, let's say Temasek will invest also here to Maharlika. Okay. They will not just let you do this and do that. They will check. There will be a counter check from their side on what Maharlika, yes, on the accountability on what Maharlika will be doing. Okay. And that's why I'm excited. And I said it will be monitored and it will be audited and well guarded by the foreign funds as well. So okay. we have to take away the scare or the takot of all this uh, corruption or something right. because the foreigners will be involved here. Okay. Well, you know, it, it's still making its way through Congress, yeah. right? We don't know what, what the final happen. version. Yeah will be with regard to mechanics. So one of the things they were talking about was the possibility of opening it up for investors. Uh, do you think that's a good idea for people like you uh, to maybe uh, buy equity in the wealth fund? Yeah, why not? Because we're also investing in other funds being issued by other financial institutions, like we invested some in a Vietnam fund. Right. That's why I went into this prone farming. So that's where I got to know them. I see. And then we asked their their uh, their company on what they right. are doing. Then yeah. they because we are investor, yeah. they they accommodated us and in fact they invited us to go there. So it will be the same thing here. Yeah. That if they invested here and the Maharlika fund invested in a certain business, right. there will be question us and this business has no choice but to accommodate the questions and I invite them to come and see what we are doing here in the Philippines. Right. Now, one of the things they've talked about is for the fund to invest in yeah. infrastructure projects, development projects yeah. in the Philippines. Now, what, what kind of project do you think would be most helpful to people like you? What kind of infrastructure project? Is it the satellite that you're talking about? Is it something else that would be helpful? What, what, you know, what would have the best or you know, the most impact? I think there's a lot of things have to be put together. Okay. The satellite is one. Okay. And of course, uh, in uh, agriculture, the farming, there should be infrastructure, okay. farm to road, the storage. Let's say, okay. in let's say in uh, Ilocos, you're having all the all the onions and garlic being harvested. So, w I don't like it to be in control by the businessman. Okay. So it should be the government itself, the Maharlika or whoever who said, oh, this group can invest on cold storage okay so that the prices of uh, onion will not rise so so much yeah so and okay lang man kumita but wag naman okay. doble or triple so yeah. well, what's wrong with businessman you're a businessman yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but these are ano, eh, basic commodities eh. okay so it's a basic commodity so it should be it should be very major regulated yeah. yes so okay. in negosyo ko make up 
Okay. So it's not regulated. It's not essential. Right. So food is uh, food is more essential. So the only way that we can sell more makeup is the people have excess money to buy. Right. And if all the essentials are used up, so yeah, wala ka nang pangpaganda. Yeah. No, I, I was just wondering if you can look at your own experience yeah. when you were starting and growing the business, and if you were talking to the you know government yeah. now, you know what what would have been uh, a a good government program that would have made you know your success easier faster larger you know just you know in, in retrospect you know actually i still remember my younger days when my grandfather was alive and when i was starting up i don't want to be political sure so during marcos time we um bbm's dad everything was cheap okay so I don't hear my parents complaining about prices of food are expensive. Okay. Kamina, we, we have some budget for our own, but we don't feel that because sandwiches are so cheap. Right. Everything was so cheap, we have excess money to buy our other things. Okay. But I don't see this now in... Okay. Like that thing, when I take a jeepney, it's only 10 cents, 15 okay. cents. So it's 15, 25 cents. Okay. Of course, that's 50 years ago. Right. So. Parang sabi ko, it would be nice to see that to be done again in this uh, administration. Yeah. And I think our president has the formula. He, he, he's seen it. We've okay. seen it. Yeah. I think you also have seen it and experienced it during those times. So the best is to bring it back. And uh, once the, our mass, mass people have excess money to spend, business will flow yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, how, how can... How can that be done. I mean, you think, um, you know, one of the solutions we've been hearing from some people is maybe increasing the, the wages of, of people. Uh, you know, Senator, Senate President Zubiri is talking about the legislated wage increase. I guess with the aim of, like, number one, countering yeah. the impact of the inflation, but also maybe to diminish the share of, you know, food expenditures mm -hmm. of these volatile items and, you know, uh, in in a household's income, right? Yeah. Uh, but what's your what's your take? What's your view? It's very hard to mandate uh, this uh, labor uh, our uh, labor wage labor increase. wage increase. Yeah. It has to be uh, the law of supply and demand. Right. So you you mandate increase of uh, the salary, the 150 pesos a day. Yeah. Then we might cut 30 percent of our workforce. Yeah. So once that happens. It's gonna be chaotic. More problem will come up. So, the the correct way is to uh, to lower the inflation. Yeah. So lower inflation. What's our problem? Is the essential food. Yeah. So these are agriculture. So yeah. you subsidize the fertilizer. Give it to the farmers, and also our land is agrarian is a bit outdated and strong. Yeah. If I want to do farming, I want a few hundred hectares, not seven hectares. Right. And you can you see need scale, no? yeah, you have big scale. You can, actually, when you fly to Vietnam and uh, Thailand from the air, and also China, huge tracts of land all green. Well, in our country, you don't see that. Malilit lang, it's small tracts of land, and then houses are sprouted everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think you should have all those uh, corrected. That houses should be in certain area, mm -hmm. and this huge tract of land should be for farming, agriculture. Mm -hmm. Then, that, then we will have a good food security, mm -hmm. then provide farm to road, the storage, so that so it will not be uh, spoiled. Mm -hmm. That's our problem. When there are plenty of harvest, that's spoiled because there's no no correct storage in the provinces. It's all here in Manila. Yeah. And nobody wants to bring it down. Yeah, yeah. So, Earlier you were talking about you know working with agencies like the BIR and being compliant. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm sure as a businessman, you also dealt with City Hall, yeah, right? yeah. with the different government yeah. agencies. You know, what changes would you like to happen elsewhere in government that would, you know, uh, make it easier for you? Because a lot of people say that, you know, the Philippines has a lot of uh, bureaucracy mm -hmm. and red tape. Uh, is there something that can be done? I think know? you have to make it simple. Like I said, yeah. right now, I think 
I think VR is already doing very well. Okay. Medyo, ano siya, streamlined. Uh, streamlined, computerized. Yeah. So it's very hard to make uh, daya with the uh, right. VR already. It's all digital. No? So everything is digitized already. Like I've been telling the VR people when they come to my office, I'm not in my office yeah. many, a lot of times. So it's already uh, structured. Yeah. It's like a bank. Yeah. Hindi na masyad, like before, manual. Yeah. That's a lot of lapses when you go manual. That's a lot of uh, nakaw happening. Right. But if it's systemized, so what the printout says, that's it. Right. So right. there should be, uh, no, let's say, lower the taxes so that people tend to pay more yeah. rather than high taxes and they try to cheat more. So, right. Right. so that's exactly the same. Like now, before, when you import 50% tax, so people try to undervalue. Okay. Now it's five three or zero percent you pay 12 percent but so you you import the real value now you don't need to to do the i know under pricing right well uh, what about access to capital is that was that ever an issue when you were starting up and maybe what what can the government do there to help you know the younger generation of entrepreneurs who are just starting is that an issue or is that is uh, should there be you know some other things that we should look at I don't think I'm the right person to be asked on the access okay. to capital because I, I, because of the wisdom I learned from my mentors. Okay. It's easy for me to borrow now. Okay. But for the young guys, obviously they don't have that uh, access. So you have to really work hard, and really work hard slowly but surely. You have to start small, parine. Right. You cannot start big. Start small, and you build up your credibility, your, your reputation. Yeah. Once you build it up. People will go to you and give you more credit. Yeah. Initially, it will generally the business people who will give you the credit. Yeah. But as you grow bigger, the banks can see your balances, okay. your in and out uh, transactions. Once they see you get the volume, they will offer you some credit line. That's very automatic. And if your credibility is good, they will check. There's no record of bouncing checks. Banks will offer you clean loan for sure. So, so credibility is still credibility very important. Still very important. Very important. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll take another quick break. This is uh, this is some politics. We'll be right back.